Hey guys, it's such a joy for me to be with all of you today. Thank you so much for dropping by. Just want to declare that God has great things in store for you as well. I am recently doing a series on my daily podcasts. Uh, I encourage you to make the podcast as part and parcel of your life because they've been a great blessing to so many people across the globe. But still, I just wanted to put that across to you and let you know on this aspect as well. So I'm doing a series on the aspect of courage and speaking about what is courage, how to have the courage to obey God when it doesn't make sense, how to have the courage to do what is right or say what is right, how to have the courage to, um, you know, wait for the Lord when he doesn't show up in your expected time and so on and so forth. And um, this is one of the aspects that I wanted to talk about. And I thought, you know what, this is another important aspect that many people are neglecting. And I wanted to bring it across to you on YouTube because I believe that you guys also need to receive this as well. So if you're not of the podcast listening type, I encourage you to stay tuned because I believe this is a message that will really bless you and before i go forward i also want to let you know that uh, i'm recently started another uh, youtube channel i am going to start putting the link to that channel in my descriptions as well where i share the daily podcast in an audio format okay so i'm not going to be sharing it officially everywhere but i encourage you to check that out uh, where you can listen to the uh, podcast on youtube in an audio format so you know, if you're not comfortable navigating on a podcast platform, that will be a great way for you to stay connected with the daily podcast as well. So I just wanted to put that across to you. So today I'm going to talk about the courage to trust that God will give you the victory. See, when near times when we go through life, when we are putting your effort, when you're going the extra mile, when you are putting out so much of you know time and investing on money and things like that the one of the questions that always comes to you is is it really worth it what am i going to get out of it am i really going to see the success and the fruit of my labor or is it going to go in vain this is a question that many of us are constantly daunting and we are in a place where we struggle to take the step just because we are scared that we do not end up in failure but what do you do in that? Maybe it could be in the area of your um, investment in finance or it could be a, a job. You are like, OK, why should I put my extra effort here, whether I'll really get my promotion or not? Or in my business, why should I go the extra mile, uh, whether I'm really going to see the growth in the business or not? Or why should I go extra mile with regard to preparation for the exams? If I just barely get by, it's fine, right? I, do I? really know if I'm going to get the victory in it or not uh, and so many other things maybe it's in your relationship why should I spend so much of time and effort on that person what if you know it doesn't work out or anything for that matter you know you have to put that effort but you have that uh, hesitation to trust that God will give you the victory are you sure that it will going to work out what if it doesn't work out so that is the place I want you to you know, introspect whether you have any hesitation in putting the trust upon the Lord and to have the courage that God will help you to succeed in everything you do. That you have the courage to know that God will give you the fruit of your labor. The courage to know that whatever you do will succeed just because you are having the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords on your side. Do you have the courage to trust that the God who has called you is faithful to lead you? Do you have the courage to believe that the God who has been asking you to take certain steps or making, uh, giving you that opportunity will also give you the victory in that? See, for example, when David was about to defeat Goliath, here's the thing I want you to understand. Uh, when Saul and other officials were asking him, he said, you know what, I was able to defeat the lion and the bear, so I know that God will help me give the victory over Goliath. But I also want you to remember that the lion and the bear were not the same as Goliath. Goliath was different. It is not the same as the lion and the bear. So the strategy or the uh, methodology would definitely be different. It's not going to be the same. But how did David have the courage that, yes, I know that God will give me the victory? Because you have to remember, he didn't put his faith on his strategy. He didn't put his faith on his ability. He didn't put his faith and trust and confidence upon his past experience. 
He just quoted it, but he didn't put his faith on that. He put his faith on God and said, the God who was faithful in the past, he is faithful to lead me and he's going to give me the victory over this new enemy as well. So I want you to understand that as a child of God, when God gives you an opportunity, like the way God gave David the opportunity uh, of defeating Goliath, which was in route for him to reach the throne, you have to remember that the God who gave you the opportunity is also faithful to give you the victory and to help you come out victorious over that opportunity as well. So today I want you to get this into your spirit, that when God gives you an opportunity, maybe to invest, maybe to sow, maybe to work hard, maybe to uh, do something, maybe in your relationships or your career or your business or your ministry or your purpose or your visions, anything under the sun, when God gives you the opportunity, don't hesitate to take the step, wondering whether you'll get the victory or not. You learn to trust him and say, God, you gave me the opportunity. I believe the same God who has given me opportunities in the past and given me victories in the past. He is able to give me the victory in this as well. That's the kind of a faith you need to be in. That's the kind of a place you need to have the, the courage and the trust that God who gave you the opportunity will also give you the victory. See, back in the day, I remember I've shared this a couple of times that two times I've called on law on the Lord and brought down rain. So there was one particular instant when there was no rain for almost four months and everybody was talking about, oh, there's no rain, there's no rain. At one particular incident while talking with a group of people or something like that, I said, you know what, I'm going to pray and I'm going to make it rain today. Now people laughed, people mocked, they said, what's this guy, is he nuts and things like that. But I said this at 7.30 in the night. And I left the place, I went to have dinner, I had to buy a couple of things, and then I come back by 8.25, and you won't believe this, at 8.30, it started raining, like a heavy shower of rain. And you know what happened? The very people who laughed and mocked came back scratching their heads and saying, your God is truly the God of the universe. Now, listen to this important aspect. What gave me the courage to say that when I pray, the Lord will bring the rain? What gave me the courage? It's not because I've seen that happen before. It was not something like, wow, you know, I've done this a uh, million times or something like that. But you know what? When God gives you an opportunity where you can display God's power in and through your life, you have to have that courage. And say, you know what? God is going to give me the victory. Imagine I prayed and I went and God did not give the victory. <laughs> what would happen? At that moment, I need to talk about another aspect also. Okay? So, first aspect I want you to understand is to have the courage to trust God for the victory. The courage to have the faith that God will give you the victory. And operate from that place. That, okay, God has called me, he will give me the victory. Now, what if you're not seeing the fruit that you need to see right away? What if you're not give, getting the victory that you really intended to get? Sometimes you may say, let's be practical, John. What if it doesn't work out? See, number one, if it doesn't work out, just remember that God honors the fact that you took the step in faith. And the Bible says that when you... You know, it is impossible to please God without faith. In other words, if you have faith, it is impossible for you not to please God. And the Bible says that Abraham's faith was accounted to him as righteousness. And that's mentioned a couple of times in Hebrews, in Galatians, in Romans. And you see that we are from the seed of Abraham. So when we walk by faith and not by sight, God is going to honor you. The Bible says those who put their trust, hope and reliance upon the Lord will never be put to shame. So what you realize is even if you do take a step of faith, and you're not seeing the fruit of it right away, don't be dismayed. There are things that the Lord led me to prophesy, but I'm not seeing the fruit of it yet. So to a natural eye, it may look like I am a false prophet and somebody could write me off. But I cannot come and explain and convince to you that, listen, this is how God led me. I can vouch and tell you this is not just me. There was so many things involved in it, but I cannot prove it. But you know what do I do in such cases? I just trust God. 
If God leads you to do something, just trust God. Just go ahead. You put your effort. Even if you're not seeing the fruit of it right away, learn to just trust that eventually God will give you the victory. Eventually God will take you to where you need to go. I still remember, let me close with this example. So uh, I've shared this a couple of times, but I want to say this again. Like, you know, the Lord also uses me in the area of prophetic as well as in the area of healing. And um, so there was one particular incident where I was uh, ministering in a particular, um, you know, a, a conference or not conference. It was like a prayer meeting. Um, so he healing service, something like that. So I was ministering there and I was teaching people on uh, hearing God. Okay. And um, so as an act of, you know, hearing God, I, I, I felt that God was leading me to call out somebody with a particular illness. You know, sometimes God gives the word of knowledge. You get that, right? So, you know, like uh, the gift of word of knowledge. And uh, I was just led to share. Now, there are times when God leads me to do it. And um, I've seen the fruit of it. So at that particular point, I just trusted, okay, God is calling me to do this. I just obeyed and um, I just uh, called out somebody with a particular condition. And, uh, you know, it was kind of like an embarrassment for me. It was kind of like a very big shock or something because there was nobody who responded with that condition. And it was like, uh, you know, like a hit on my face because you just spoke about uh, hearing God and this happens. So there could be a couple of reasons. Maybe the person was there and didn't want to come and show him, him or herself out. It could be the case or it could be like I made a mistake. We never know because both cases are possible because as a child of God, we all make mistakes, right? Um, so I did that and um, I felt like the whole world, whole, uh, world crashed at that moment. You know, you're the preacher and you make a mess like this, supposedly in front of a huge crowd, what do you do? I just, you know what, uh, said, okay, guys, let's all worship God. And they just shifted the focus towards God. And some people got offended, left the meeting right in front of me. And um, at that moment, I heard the Lord say in my spirit, I'm proud of what you did. I know it may shock you, but God said, I'm proud of what you did. You obeyed my voice and you did what I wanted you to do you forget about the rest of the thing. And in that very meeting, in that very meeting, there were so many people who got healed from things that I never even imagined. Like, there was a lady who, who was deaf in one year. She can't hear a bit of it. And, uh, you know, I just put my hand. I was like, I was already kind of embarrassed. And I was like, you know what? Let me just pray over people. Just leave the place because I was kind of... And so I just put my hand, I just prayed in Jesus' name, be healed. And then I was like looking forward to the next person to pray for them. And this person is like, hey, you know what? I can hear, I can hear, I'm healed, I'm healed. Deaf ear popped open in a split second. Another person got healed of something else in a split second. Like there were so many miracles that happened just like that. And God showed himself up in that very place. So what I want you to understand is when you... Trust God and take the step. He will honor you for that. He will give you the victory. So today I want you to have that courage. When God tells you to do something or in your normal scheme of life, maybe it's your career, business, relationship, anything, learn to trust God and take the step. And God will definitely honor you for that. You may not give the get the victory right away. Sometimes it may be right away like the case with David or sometimes it could be like, you know, maybe later you're going to see the fruit of it. Or sometimes God is going to honor your faith, even if you made the uh, mistake in trusting or it, it could have been a mistake. It may not have been a mistake. We never know. But eventually God will show himself up. Eventually God will honor your faith for that. So that's what I wanted to quickly drop by and share with you that you will have the courage to, you know, trust that the God gave you the opportunity will also give you your victory may god bless you amen do like comment share and subscribe i'm sure it'll be a great blessing check out the daily podcast and uh, connect with me through the various social media platforms all details are available for you as well thank you so much god bless you